Since it's Friday, I'm going to show you something I really didn't want to show you because I want you to learn how to use typography like a pro, elegantly, powerfully, professionally. But sometimes you just need to cut loose. And I don't know if you've noticed the touch type tool here. It is either visible or not, depending upon in this hamburger menu, whether you have it selected. Now, it takes up room. My panel is pretty short, so I'm going to go ahead and hide this thing um, and then show you that you can always find it underneath the text tool, the type tool. Hold down uh, the left mouse button, come over, and you can come all the way down to the touch type tool. When you click on it, it says click on a character to select. Did you see that little pop up there? So if I click, now again, don't do this on everything, but have a little fun with it today. You can select individual characters simply and easily. You can make them taller, make them, whoops, command Z, make them wider. Hey, where's the wider? There it is. You can change all these things and see this little dot at the top? You can rotate. And then you can move right down the list and play with these things, reposition it. You're actually changing kerning there by clicking and dragging. Do not try this on, uh, you know, on projects that are better served using a little more finesse and figuring out <laughs> how to use the type tool like a pro, right? Right? You don't want to just play around all the time, but sometimes you just have to, you know? You just have to. It's Friday. Let's have some fun. There you go. There's the touch type tool in all its very scary glory. And this is, what if it's not Friday, it's Thursday? Well, we can come back to the type tool and it's editable text. Oh no. But see, it picks up everything from the uh, Friday setting. So you'd have to get in there and edit individually. So there you go. My gift to you on Friday the very scary touch type tool.